What's up guys, Scotty2Hockey here, aka The Average Hockey Fan once again, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about what I think Carey Price is going to do in the upcoming season, in the 2019-2020 season, and a little bit about what he did last year, reflect a little bit about on how great of a season it was for Carey Price last year, he really did turn it around. <clears throat> Carey Price has been the face of the franchise in Montreal for almost a decade now. We've all seen how great he can be when he's 100% healthy and on his game, the guy has almost done it all, from winning a Vesna, a Hart, a Jennings, a Lindsay, a Pearson Award, being to multiple All-Star games, winning a gold medal overseas. There's no denying the talent that this guy has, but he has had a few major lower body injuries in the past three seasons, and he had a very poor career worst year, in fact, in 2017-2018. Despite a ton of criticism due to the fact he struggled so bad, and also signed a record-breaking $10.5 million per almost $90 million contract just before that season started that didn't kick in until the 2018-2019 season. And he was injured for half of that season as well. He really did take a lot of criticism. But this year he came in and he turned it all around. After a shaky 20-game start where for once it seemed the scoring was bailing Price out and not Price was bailing the scoring out, the lack of scoring I should say, he managed to find his form, and he was absolutely awesome from then on. Weber returning, obviously, was a big part of this. It was a big factor of why Carey Price looked so good. Montreal and Carey needed a proven shutdown D-man like that to help him out big time because there was a lot of cheap shots in front of Price. There was way too much traffic in front of the net. Honestly, without Weber there at the beginning of the season, as much as they were scoring, the defense in front of Price looked absolutely horrible. Now, this year, Terry has an added presence of a big-bodied, nasty defender in Ben Sherratt. I think the key presence of Sherratt filling that crucial role on the left side, whether it be the second line or the first line, will help Terry a ton and make, player, and make players think twice about getting in front of Terry Price. Price seems to have his confidence back and is back on form and looks to be an elite goalie again. And I expect him to thrive and dominate this year. He's a man on a mission. At 31 years old, he's almost done it all. Like I say, almost done it all. But he hasn't done the most important thing. The one thing legendary goalies do. Most Hall of Fame goalies do. I can't say all Hall of Fame goalies. Most Hall of Fame goalies do. They win Lord Stanley's Cup. Now, realistically, do I think he will do it this year with the Montreal Canadiens? Without a big addition to the top six that really helps the power play, the odds are slim. I'm not going to say impossible with Kerry Price in that, but the odds are slim. But he should be, in my opinion, good enough to help Montreal make the playoffs, and he should have a good run in 2019-2020. Whether it be he win around or he just gets him in after a dominant season, as long as he's doing something positive in Montreal, the future is very bright, and as long as Price is on his game, uh, we're in good hands for sure. And see, uh, my prediction for Price this year, what I think he's going to do this year, uh, like I said, I think he's going to dominate. Even though we have Keith Kincaid, I still think Price is going to start 60 games. I think he's going to have 40 wins. It's very possible for Kerry Price to have 40 wins, five more than this year. 15 losses, five overtime losses, with around five shutouts. Mm. I'm expecting a 9.25 save percentage. I think his save percentage is going to jump with the Sherratt in front of him, helping clear the front of the net. I think he's going to have around a 2.25 goals against, a better goals against than last year. Because last year in 66 games played, he had a 35-24-6 and six record with a .918 goals against, a 2.4, excuse me, a .918 save percentage, a 2.49 goals against, and four shutouts. So I think he will up them numbers, and I think he will have a dominant season. Like I said, Kerry Price is my favorite player, and I know a lot of players were hating on him after last year, but he really did turn it around this year. The key is he has to stay healthy, and with Weber and Chirac clear in the front of the net, I think that would be the case. I think he'll have a great save percentage and a great year. Let me know what you think, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and have a great day.